Okay, hello. So in this uh, video, we're going to be looking at the graphs for the sine, the cosine, and the tangent function. Um, it's important that you learn these graphs as you would be expected to be able to sketch them, and they, they are needed as you progress through your A-level maths. Okay, so we're going to start off by looking at the sine function. So we've got here y equals sine x. Um, the first thing I want you to note is it starts, well, it goes through the origin. So when x equals naught, y equals naught. So it starts here, 0, 0, and then it goes up to a maximum of 1 when x equals 90. And then once it's reached its maximum at 90, it goes back down and it'll go through y equals 0 to 180 to a minimum at um, x equals 270, y equals minus 1. And then it turns around and goes back up to 360, so 360 degrees. It's got y equals 0 again. Now then it will carry on. It will carry on. It will go up as we have before, till it reached a maximum, and then it will go back down through zero, and then it will go back down through a minimum, and then it will go back up through zero, and till it reaches a maximum. So this pattern is just repeated and repeated. Now in the next slide, all we've got here is just a summary of what I said. We've got um, a maximum of y equals 1 at x equals 90 degrees, a minimum at y equals minus 1 when x equals 270 degrees, and it goes starts at the origin and then goes back through y equals 0 at 180 degrees and at 360 degrees. Okay, now we're going to look at the cos curve. Now the cos curve is um, actually the same as the sine curve. It just doesn't start at the same place. So instead of starting at the origin, it starts at the maximum y equals 1 when x equals 0. Then it comes down through y equals 0 at x equals 90. And then it keeps coming down till it reaches a minimum um, of minus 1 when x equals 180. Then it comes back up through y equals 0 again at 270, and then it gets back up to 360, and we're back where we started. Can you see we're back at this one where we started at this one over here? Um, it would then, then carry on. It would carry on down, and it would carry on down, going through 0 to a minimum, back up through 0 um, to the maximum, and so on. So this is just a summary page. So we've got y equals the maximum 1 when x equals 0 and 360. y equals a minimum down here of minus 1 when x equals 180. And it goes through 0 at 90 and 270. OK, so now we're going to look at the tan graph. Now, the tan graph is different from the other two. It's a different shape, as you can see. Um, the key thing to notice about this, what it does is basically come from minus infinity goes up through 0, and then heads off to plus infinity. Now, as it approaches this line here at x equals 90, it gets closer and closer to this line, but it never reaches it. And then just as we tip onto the other side of 90, it goes back to come from minus infinity. Up it goes, up through 180 degrees and then up to plus infinity, again approaching 270, but never quite reaching it. So what we have here, it's at 0, um, y equals 0, x equals 0, and at x equals 180, and 360 is where we start again. Um, and then we have this line here. Now, this line here is called an asymptote, and that means um, that the curve approaches this line. We're never quite reaching it. Okay, so this one here and here are asymptotes, and so our curve will get really close to it as we go on up. Let's see if I can draw this. Um, and it gets really close to it, but it never, ever, ever quite reaches it. And then it comes from below again. Anyway, I hope that's helpful.